Welcome back to the Nurturing Case channel. This video is part of a two video series which is going to look at what really happens when you go no contact with a narcissist. This video is going to look at what happens to the narcissist and in part two we're going to look at what happens to you when you go no contact. So do keep your eye out for that. So going no contact is widely accepted as the best way to deal with a narcissist after you've broken up. Main reason being, if it's like withdrawing completely off a drug, you go cold turkey. That if you try and maintain any sort of contact, you're re-addicting yourself, you are staying within that addiction cycle. And so going no contact is breaking that cycle, it's giving you time to heal. But what happens to the narcissist? Well, remember that the narcissist is a child. The narcissist is desperate for your attention. And even though they might discard you from time to time or they may tell you that don't ever talk to me again and have you for uh, non molestation orders or harassment, they want to keep contact with you because it's about control. And so when you take that control away from them, they are enraged. They will not allow that to happen. They will do whatever they can to try and regain that contact. And it'll initially start off with maybe a friendly way of trying to get you back. It could even be that they just continue to send a lot of text messages or phone you a lot. If you keep ignoring them, they'll ramp it up. Like I say, they might switch back to be trying to love bomb you or hoover you back in. They will definitely start with anger. There will be some. There will be texts which, where, which come around which are absolutely awful. They tell you that you're this, that, and the other, and it's all to get a response out of you. And what I find is there's so many lies within these attempts to draw you back in because your natural response is to try and correct those lies, is to say, "Well, that's not what really happened, is it?" Because that's human nature we want to correct an untruth and so it's very clever that they try and do that you need to stay strong and keep that no contact because in doing so you're saying to them i'm done you have no power over me anymore but obviously from the narcissist's point of view that is unacceptable and so as we've spoken about in the what happens when they can no longer control you video they will then turn to other people. They will try and make contact through other people. Now, if you've got kids together, it will be through them. They will hurt them, or they will send messages through them, or they will try and get them to just get your attention in some way, shape, or form. If you've got kids together, they'll do it through family members and friends. It may be a relay of messages. It may be spreading untruths. Anything that they think will draw you back into having that conversation. They become obsessed with getting your attention back. And this is why you know contact is so powerful. Because in doing that, you begin that process of dysregulation. Their emotions can't handle that rejection. They can't handle you going no contact. Because they've told everyone you're crazy, you're mental, you're obsessive, you're this, you're that, you're the other. But when you go no contact, that's kind of a, saying that's not true. And they can't deal with that because they don't want their cover blown. And so they desperately try and bait you back in with, like I say, threats or criticisms or even trying to love bomb you back. And it is all because they have to appear to be the ones that ended this. So a lot of them will draw you back in just so that they can say, right, that's it, I'm not having any more. It's part of their game to have the final say. And so it's so important, more important than in any other, with drugs or anything, that you do go complete no contact. We all have the cycle um, involved in addiction where the, there's the relapse. And it's known that this can happen. But with narcissists, it's so important that you try your hardest 
not to relapse and, and contact them or respond in any way because the second you do, you're giving them what, what they want. You are their drug, so you are giving them what they want, that you are providing their supply. And it makes it even harder for you to break free of that cycle. But in the next video, we are going to look at what happens to you when you go no contact and we're going to look at why it is so powerful for you to stay there. I hope you think, found this short video useful. Please do take a moment to click subscribe. It does help with the viewing figures. And I really do appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.